I am okay. I have got a good reason for everything. I am going to be Vincent Charles Gerard. See, I have got to know what he talks like. Now I know. That's, that posh stuff comes easy. This is Mr. W. C. Gerard speaking. Pantomime of phony. Imitation cultured voice. Again, that's not all. He stands up. Get up a minute. Gerard stands. Now take a look at me. So Gerard says, you are not particularly decorative. Intruder. No. Well, that goes for you. I have only got to wear specs and I will be enough like you to get away with it. So see, uh, Gerard is wearing the specs, modern specs, but the intruder is not wearing the specs. And he is not particularly decorative. And another thing uh, he says about uh, Gerard, this way he speaks, Okay, so he is just imitating Gerard in order to say that, okay, some posh stuff. It is Gerard is speaking some posh stuff and he can also very neatly imitate Gerard. So it is also easy than the way he looks. So he says that if I wear the six, I could be like you. So Gerard says, what about your clothes? They will let you down if you are not careful. So if you are not careful with your clothes, they will show you off that you are the uh, person who is to be imprisoned intruder that will be all right yours will fit me fine see we are of correct stature so your dress will fit me surely Gerard, that is extremely interesting but you seem to miss the point of my remark it was not a tribute to uh, sorry i said you were luckier than more melodramatic villains it was not a tribute to your intelligence you won't kill me for a very good reason so he says, okay, now you're going to kill me because there's no particular reason for that. So, so let's, that's what you think. Gerard says, you will let me go and thank God you didn't shoot sooner. So now I know that you are going to let me, you will not kill me. And I am thanking God that you did not kill me earlier because there's something about me. Come on, what's in your mind? Better be quick. This conversation bores me. Gerard your idea is to elude the police by killing me and taking me on my identity, right? And Judas says, yes, I like the idea, Gerard. But are you sure it's going to help you? In Judas, now listen here. I have got all this all planned. I did a job in town. Things went wrong and I killed a cop. Since then, I have done nothing but dodge. I have been avoiding the police. I have killed a cop. I am just avoiding. I am dodging. In Judas. It brought me, uh, so, and this is where dodging has brought you here. Yeah. So that is why you are avoiding the police and you reach here. So that is what happened to you. Intruder. It brought me to Aylesbury. That's where I saw you in the car. Two other people saw you and started to talk. I listened. It looks like you are a bitter cure, kind of a mystery man. Gerard says, a mystery which I propose to explain. So you know why I am a mystery man. I want you to explain. I want to explain my mystery to you. Intruder. You phone your orders and sometimes you go away suddenly and come back just the same. Those are just the things I also want to do. Hearing about you was one of my luckiest breaks. Gerard. Apparently, you haven't the intelligence to ask why I am invested in this block of mystery. Do you know why I am a mystery man? Why I go out often and uh, come back after two days? So in this module, we learn that though the intruder wants to be like Gerard, Gerard makes him believe that he is also a criminal and he is also searched by police and he also says that he is a mystery man. His mystery is because he also had committed a murder and the police is in search of him and he is also trying to escape from the police. So the intruder will be in trouble if he takes the identity of Gerard.